Welcome to another Epic Ethics Story, part of the Daniels Fund Ethics Initiative Elementary School Program. As you listen to the story, consider the four awesome questions inspired by the Rotary four way test. Is it true? Is it fair? Will it build friendships and community? Will it be helpful to those involved? Stay with us after the story for some thought-provoking discussion questions. And now, the story of How Koala Lost His Tail, an Australian Dreamtime story. A long time ago, when stories were dreamed rather than remembered, Kula the koala and Euro the wallaby were the best of friends. They shared everything from their bark shelter to their fascination for hunting. But most of all, they shared a pride for their exquisitely long tails. But sadly, this is not a tale of their happier days of tails splashing in a billabong after a long hunt. This story is of a time when a severe drought swept over their part of the world. Water became scarce, and all the grass withered and died. Some days, huge banks of dark clouds would float across the western sky, teasing a heavy rain that would never come. As the billabong dried up, the water in their only remaining source became stagnant, and this made Kula and Euro very sick. Better sick than dead, said Kula as he encouraged Euro to lap up what little bit of moisture was left in the muddy banks. One day, even the remaining stagnant water dried up, and the two friends became desperate, beckoning his friend to rest under the shade of a Kulaba tree. Euro said to Kula, My friend, I remember there was a big drought like this once before. My mother carried me in her pouch far beyond the dry reed beds and mudgy. Along the way we saw birds fall from the trees and many creatures lay dead by the dried up billabongs. It was so bad, even trees withered up and died. Mum traveled slowly. All the rivers and creeks had run dry, though hunger and thirst were making her weak. She carried me, and pressed on in her search for a trickle of hope. Then one day, old man Bunda, a kangaroo, said to my mother, Why do you carry such a heavy load? You will die. Throw your joey into the bush and come with me, he suggested. I will travel fast and take you to the water. But my mother wouldn't leave me to die, even though I was a heavy burden. She swore she would rather die struggling than abandoning me for a better chance of survival. Old man Bunda went off on his own, convinced he was leaving her to die from thirst. Soon, Mum came to a sandy riverbed where she dug a deep hole in the sand. Slowly, it filled with cool, clear water. That night, we camped by the water hole. The weeks dragged out, but then one day, the skies broke out in a regenerative rainfall. After a long silence, Euro replied, If we stay here, Kula, we will perish from thirst. I will take you to that river. Together we will dig a big hole in the sand and find water. Kula was happy with Euro's hopeful suggestion and said, Yes, let us go to the riverbed. I have very strong arms, and I will help you. Slowly they made their way over the plains, crossing many dry creeks and water holes. Before they reached the river they were looking for, they found the remains of some of their friends, who had died of thirst. This made them more determined to survive. The sun was blazing hot, and they were very tired when they reached the sandy river. Kula suggested that Euros should start digging. 
He knew more about finding water. Euro willingly went to work and dug a deep hole, but there was no sign of water. Exhausted from all the digging he had done, Euro asked Kula to help him. Kula was very cunning and said, I would gladly help you, but I'm feeling very sick. The sun is so hot and I'm afraid we are going to die. Feeling sorry for his friend, Euro set to work again without complaining. At last he saw a tiny trickle of water appear in the hole. Slowly it filled with lovely, cool, clear water. Euro was happy. He went over to his friend, little Kula, and said, I have found water. Would you like me to bring you some? Without even answering, Kula jumped up and ran straight for the water hole. Euro was shocked to see his once dying friend now drinking with ease, and his tail was wagging with glee. This infuriated Euro. He could now see how cunning his friend was. Angrily, he grabbed his boomerang with a sharp edge and cut off Kula's tail. To this day, because he was so lazy and cunning, Kula and all koala scents have no tails. Their shame has forced them to hide high up in the gum trees, watching the wallabies and kangaroos continue to hop across the land with their long tails. The End Discussion Questions Kula's memory of his mother's loyalty was key to the strength he needed when the drought returned. What memories do you have that will make you stronger when difficulties come your way? How was it fair, unfair, or both for Old Man Kangaroo to leave Kula and his mum behind? Upon hearing Kula's story, Euro assumed responsibility for their own survival. What other outcomes could have resulted if Euro hadn't been encouraged? Kula's fear kept him from helping Euro. In what ways is fear helpful? In what ways is it not? Euro's anger led him to chopping off his friend's tail. What is another way in which he could have processed these strong emotions? Though he did not help in digging the water hole, Kula drank and survived the drought. Can you think of a time where the laziness of others was rewarded? This has been an Epic Ethics recording, generously sponsored by the Daniels Fund Ethics Initiative. We'd also like to thank Colorado Rotary District 5450 for your service above self and support of peaceful schools. For more information about the Epic Ethics program, or to bring this program to your elementary school, contact us at www.epicethics.org.